Hey guys, Photoshop Hustler here and in this video and in the next video we're gonna go through an edit from the very first moment we open Photoshop until we save the final result. So I hope you're ready to jump with me to the computer and follow along. Okay, we'll start off by creating a new document. In this case, most of my edits are created for Instagram. So I go by the 180 to 1350 resolution and create my new document. Okay, so this is our new document. We have the layer panels here down right and we have the toolbar which is most important. So I'll start off by going to window and opening the libraries. This is where I fuel my ideas. Lately, I've been really inspired by the temples and castles I saw and really the architecture and symmetry. So I'll start off by searching the Adobe stocks for temples. Oh, can you see there's like a lot of amazing photos. I really like this one. But let's go for something. Wow, look at that one. Let me go. I'm looking for something in my mind. I keep searching and looking for inspirations if you like if you don't find what you wanted in the very first ones you can just see more results on the web it will open the website with the uh, Adobe stocks and you will have multiple of images you see we have here more than 1 million 300,000 photos of temples the first very like the very first ones are gonna be the ones we just saw in the Adobe so I'm gonna go past them and start looking for new ones okay so after after scrolling down a little bit I saw this one I really got inspired by it so you can choose to open your preview in Photoshop and after you saved it you'll simply find it in your library you can just drag it to your Photoshop place it it's still watermarked because we still haven't purchased it I just want to see if it will fit our composition or not this is how I see it somehow I don't want to see like these are distracting I want the light to be coming from one direction and I want it in the center so I guess this photo will work so you simply just right click and license the image okay so this is how the image is gonna look like once you license it it has high resolution so I'm gonna expand it this is the best thing these photos are of high resolution so you can easily crop them around without losing details Okay, so this is the first photo. Let's jump back to the libraries. And how I can see this photo is that I want this to be someone standing here. And this is above the clouds, just like that photo. But I need to see the clouds in it. So I'm going to search for above clouds. And we need something a little bit interesting. Wow, look at that one. I really like the mountain here this one is different I'm gonna save preview to my library I want to see how it's gonna look like this is the best thing actually you can save multiple and multiple of photos and just see how they look like before purchasing them okay so we can simply just drag the photo to see a preview of it and this is how it's, it's gonna look like I'm gonna enlarge it a little bit so it fills the whole window area I'm gonna put it behind the original layer we have and then I'm gonna use the quick selection tool and I'm just gonna select this sky very easily very fast then I'm gonna hold alt and click the mask so now it's invisible and now I can see the photo behind see exactly how it's gonna look like and I really really like that photo so I'm gonna license it okay so this is how the photo look like after we licensed it it's high resolution so we can place it how we want okay so now it's time to add a scale element to the photo to show how monumental and huge this gate is so this is where I'll choose my model for this photo and usually I'd love in photos like that to use a lady with flying hair or a flying dress and the dress has a lot of colors so I'm gonna type standing back dress and this is what I got so first, this is the first photo I got and I really like it. So I'm going to save it to my library. Let's search for more. Standing back dress again. And I really like this one. So I'm going to save this one to my library. So now we have the two photos in the preview. So I'm going to drag both of them to my Photoshop canvas. Then I'm going to close the library for now. I'm going to control click both of them. Make sure they are on top. Control T make sure they are a bit small so that I'll close the first one I'm gonna start with this one I'm gonna stand on any of the selection tools I have 
which is the quick selection or the magic wand they will both have something called select subject I'm gonna press the select subject it will automatically give me a selection of the subject I want so now I can add a layer mask and it's cut Control T now to make it smaller see how it's gonna look like let's try the other one again let's take a selection tool let's select subject then once the selection is done you press add layer mask and then we can move her at the same place and Control T to make her smaller something like that and now we can choose between the two of them okay so this is now the first one after we licensed it it's in full resolution so I'm gonna select subject and add layer mask so now we have a clean cut of her they just missed one part here in between her legs so I'm gonna take one of my selection tools which is the polygonal lasso tool this works by adding a point by pressing click 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 and close the selection then hold shift to add a selection to it click click and just clicking all the way around the parts which I don't want to make selection of them and once you're done selecting what you want you hold alt and press backspace to get rid of the areas that you don't want so now we have our first photo here let me adjust the size actually I don't want to make her too small or it's good okay so now we have our first model so this is the second photo after we licensed it I'm gonna take one of my selection tools select subject and I'm gonna add layer mask make her small make sure I'll open this one to make sure she's gonna be almost the same size so this size is perfect let's close this one for now so now we have our two models I don't know yet which one I'm gonna work with and actually in this video I'm just compositing the photos that I want to use we still haven't blended anything together so let's keep any of them for now and let's go more creative I want to add some sort of a light texture somewhere here from the left to right you can see this mountain is lit from that side also so I'm gonna try to add some creative lights in this one so I'm gonna go to library and in this time I'm gonna light beam and let's see what we get okay I really like this one I'm gonna save preview of it <coughs> let's go again light beam remember when I told you that it's really important to scroll through the images in the stocks because they fuel your brain with ideas this is what I found when I was scrolling down and I really like this one and I saw a lot of potential in it so I saved this one to my library as well and let's see the first one how it's gonna look like yeah and one really great thing about Photoshop is that if you whenever you see black in a photo by just changing the blending mode to screen the black is invisible let me show you how it's gonna look like if it's on top this is how it's gonna look like if it's on top of everything but I'm gonna put it behind so we have the light let me control T right click flip horizontal so it's coming from that side of the photo and now it's time to try the new one that I got this is the new one I have here let me close the libraries for now this one actually how I imagined it something like that let's flip it horizontal I wanted these lights to be somewhere in my photo coming from that center point so now let's change it to screen I really like that light you see it was not planned but by just scrolling through the stock images I got inspired and I found new ideas so now we're done with the first part which is compositing the photo and finding the idea the next part is gonna be how to blend all these photos blend the light levels and the color and color grade everything so it looks beautifully like one photo so I hope you're as excited as I am and see you in the next video